We're finally starting to get a better picture of what's going on between Selena Gomez and her seemingly ex-best friend, Francia. Francia spoke to Backred once again this week, and she's not happy with the way Selena's fans are treating her. We also have a little bit of insight into their friendship from Francia's own dad, and it looks like a lot of people's suspicions have been confirmed. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Last week, we talked about this interview that Francia gave to Backrid where she was asked about her friendship status with Selena Gomez. Last year, there seemed to be this huge falling out between the two when Selena told Rolling Stone that her only friend in the industry was Taylor Swift. E! News reposted the quote and Francia commented, interesting followed by her unfollowing Selena on Instagram. To this day, Selena still follows Francia, but Francia has yet to follow Selena back. The paparazzi asked Francia a bunch of questions about whether or not she still spoke to Selena, if she was ever planning on following Selena back, and Francia dodged pretty much every question. The only question Francia actually answered was about whether or not she'd still donate her kidney again. Would you do it again now with all the circumstances going on? I would definitely speak to someone again about organ donation and yeah. the process okay. and stuff because I've done it a few times, it's not something I promote obviously. A lot of people think that Francia might be having some thoughts about her organ donation to Selena, especially since the process wasn't handled properly from the start. A few years ago, Francia gave an interview about her organ donation process, and it turns out Francia wasn't the one told that she was a match for Selena. Francia told Selena that she was going to get tested, she got tests done, and instead of the doctor calling her and letting her know that she was a match and letting her process things and decide how she wanted to tell Selena or the next step she wanted to take, the doctor actually called Selena first. One day, I got a phone call from Selena, a FaceTime, and she's like, for a match! And I'm like, ah! Yay! What? How do you know this? I had a way that I wanted to tell her when I made the decision. I knew I was going to happen. I just knew that time. Like, it's, it's a big thing. So I hang up and I call my social worker and I'm angry. And she told me, it's going to be hard. The recipient is going to glow and she's going to recover a lot faster than the donor is because she's receiving something she needs. You're losing something you don't need to lose. It's going to be hard and it was very hard. And this is a huge violation. There's no scenario where a doctor should be calling the person needing the transplant and telling them their friend was a match. Not only did that take away Francia's chance of telling Selena in her own way, but it also took away from Francia's decision process and her chance to sit with it and really think before being put on the spot. A lot of comments under this interview are calling the doctor out and saying how negligent they were writing, the doctor deserves to be held responsible for sharing the information with Selena first. She said she was going to do it either way, but she wanted the opportunity to tell Selena in her own way, which she 100% deserved. The doctor robbed her of a chance to present her donation to Selena as a special act of love. And obviously, this is such a huge decision. Like Francia said, she's losing something that she doesn't need to lose, and Selena is gaining something that she needs. It's a risky surgery, there's so many side effects that can happen, it's a really scary decision. So for the most part, people are being understanding as to why Francia said knowing what she knows now, she would have done more research and talked to more people before deciding. But not everyone has been as understanding towards Francia. Many people are accusing her of calling Backrid on herself, since Backrid is kind of known for that. Francia Reza called the paparazzi on herself yesterday to shade Selena Gomez. They think she's causing drama for no reason, and tons of people are expressing how they feel over on her Instagram, writing, How are you in your 30s and still acting like a child? Get a job. Got exactly what you wanted. Fame. Which doesn't really make sense because Francia was famous long before she donated her kidney to Selena. She was in Bring It On, The Secret Life of the American Teenager, and now she's found success in How I Met Your Father. Francia had a really successful acting career before Selena, and she has one with or without Selena as well. I really don't think anyone would donate a kidney, which is an extremely risky and life-altering surgery, just for the hopes of fame. Now, in my last video on all of this, I said that I think Francia is mad because of the whole Taylor is my only friend in the industry comment, but a lot of you guys actually had a better theory that makes so much more sense. Tons of people think that the comment was just the tipping point to a lot of other issues built up over time. 
For a few years now, there's been whispers that Francia was upset with Selena for drinking despite having issues with her kidneys from lupus and the risks that come along with receiving an organ. People speculated that Francia probably felt like Selena was being careless with her new gift and that's why she was so upset with her. If that's the case, then I will fully like understand why Francia will feel away, especially since, you know, she gave her the kidney. Because I know like any type of like organ transplant, you have to follow a specific set of rules, especially when it comes to what like you intake in your body. And she probably wasn't okay with how Selena was taking care of herself, you know, after the transplant. Now, I don't know where they stand now, considering that, you know, basically she wasn't included in the doc and they haven't been like in communication, what it looks like since like her 30th birthday. And she didn't even reach with Francia, happy birthday. It's just like, you gotta acknowledge, you know, sometimes where you're at fault. Even though you're the person going through it, you gotta realize your own behavior. And I feel like people who are defending Selena are trying to make her the victim and babyfy her in a way, even though she's a whole grown woman. And it just goes back to like, okay, how much of the gel really cut out? It could have been avoidable. But many people think this is just a made up rumor by people who don't like Selena. This is another made up narrative that you guys concocted on your own. This was posted to Francia's account post transplant. They're drinking champagne. There was never an issue that Selena was still drinking. And that's also not even a thing. You can still drink in moderation after a kidney transplant. Well, TMZ released an article yesterday stating there is some truth to that statement. The article is titled, Selena Gomez organ donor Francia called her out for drinking after kidney transplant. But it's not actually Francia who called Selena out. It was Francia's dad. Francia's dad is a famous Spanish radio host, and he gave an interview last year about why his daughter was left out of Selena's documentary. TMZ writes, During the interview, he was asked why his daughter wasn't included in Selena's highly anticipated doc, Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me. He told the outlet, It was no secret what happened between them, and added, That's just what happens with love, money, and fame. He then explains that Selena and Francia had a disagreement when Selena Gomez was drinking. Apparently, Francia told her she didn't give her a kidney so she could go out and drink, causing stress on the organ. A lot of people have mixed opinions on the whole drinking thing, with some people thinking if this is true, Francia is right and they'd feel weird too to see someone they donated a kidney to drinking. While others feel like it's Selena's body and a drink here and there won't hurt her and it's really no one's business. Francia actually ended up giving another interview to Backred this week, and this time, she's calling out Selena's fans. She said she didn't even want to talk to the paparazzi because the hate she got last time was so intense and extremely hurtful to her. Um, they're pretty bad. Okay. I think the one that uh, probably hurt the most was yeah. I hope someone um, goes up for other kids. That's pretty bad. So, yeah. listen, I don't really want to talk to you right now. She also called out Selena's fan base, saying she thought Selena's fans in the Rare Beauty movement were all about spreading kindness and positivity. In no way, shape, or form does anyone condone bullying. Yeah. Um, especially Selena. Yeah. She literally has a whole nonprofit dedicated to mental health. Okay. And I believe Rare Beauty just even had an event for yeah. mental health. So the fact that now I'm being bullied as yeah. I am and it's is meant messing with me mentally yeah. it just to me it's not what any what anyone wants for someone and a lot of people in the comments feel like this interaction was extremely staged writing I'm not even a Selena stan, but this seems completely staged. Why have this combo with someone who contributes to your bullying? Just post on Instagram or something. Fans are also wondering if Selena is going to come out and tell people to stop bullying Francia the same way she did for Haley. I think the Haley situation was happening on a much bigger scale, but Francia isn't really used to this amount of backlash and the comments on her Instagram are pretty mean. She's had to limit her comments across all her social media pages, and honestly, Selena's comments aren't much better. And there's still, to this day, tons of comments bringing up the whole Haley situation. Selena's comments are now flooded with Haley's fans calling Selena jealous, being like, Team Haley. The whole situation is just so messy, and there's honestly so many different ways you could look at it. 
Some people think Francia made the decision to donate because she knew she was saving a life and she shouldn't expect anything in return, even a friendship or a recognition in a documentary or a place to comment on what Selena consumes. On the other hand, people think Francia was done wrong throughout this whole process. From the way that she found out she was a match to everything going on now and the breakdown of their friendship. Francia and Selena have been friends for years now, and they've been so close for so long. I mean, obviously Selena meant something to Francia, because organ donation is no joke. There's so many risks involved, and she truly did save Selena's life. Hopefully they can come together soon and talk things out, because it would definitely be a shame if that friendship ended for good. They were both just together making TikToks and having fun only a few months ago. I think a lot of people just want to see them figure things out and become friends again. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below and I'll see you next time.